on now. Module A Rundown. We are going to go through the syllabus today. We are going to look at comparative analysis and then study techniques for Module A. So, Module A syllabus. It's textual conversations. Basically, you're looking at how two texts are conversing with each other, how they're exchanging ideas, and why is that important. Um, won't read through the whole thing. Yep, it does feel like you're going to pass out when you read it, when you look at it for the first time. A lot going on there. So, let's break it down. Resonances and dissonances. You're looking at this. Um, you're looking at similarities and differences between texts, and within text too. Reimagining and reframing. Here we're looking at textual appropriation. You know, one of the texts. Um, in what and you would see that. You know, in all of your texts in module A. You've got the parent text. Um, you know, which is written by a great author, like a significant author. Think about Shakespeare, for instance. Um, think about Shakespeare. Um, Margaret Etten, like so, wit, but I'm not going to confuse you with the text just yet. But anyway, so you've got the first text that's written, that's great, you know, it's a con it's a ca canonical text. Then you've got a child text. I like to call it a child text. You can call it adapted text, whatever you like. That text um, is written or, or is directed or whatever um, by new, well, not new, but you know, by um, a modern author. Why? why are we why are we appropriating text that's the question here you know why am i messing with a text that was already written very famous 400 years ago and making a documentary about it now what's the purpose so we're looking at textual um appropriation here common or disparate issues so here we need to look at themes or ideas that appear in one or both texts um and how they differ um or how they differ or mirror to the text to the parent text then context now context is a key in this module you look at context in um con mod 2 you look at context in mod b2 um and obviously in mod c to some extent but context plays a very very significant role in module 8 because it's all about context you know i am messing with the text that was written 400 years ago because it's not as relevant to my 21st century society now so i'm going to change it and i'm going to present it to people to show those ideas but show ideas um that are relevant to the 21st century and that are relevant in a um, that are portrayed in a way that is relevant to the 21st century some of those um texts are written like in the 1900s too so that's why it's in the 20th century whatever it is but it's about context so the influence of society in which the context itself is the influence of the society in which the text was produced your text both shapes the context the text is shaping the context by you know showing ideas think of shakespeare shakespeare's a um Whenever you think of context, you know, I think one of the prime sort of enforcers of context, reinforcers of context is Shakespeare. You know, he is reinforcing the ideals that were set in the Elizabethan era. So it's about shaping the context and being shaped by the context. That's what context is here. So key takeaways are we're looking at what is the similarities and um, what are the similarities and differences between your text? How has context influenced both those texts? What is the purpose of appropriating text and what is the value of a comparative study? Personal voice is very important here because you need to be able to then bring in your own ideas and, you know, talk about why is this textual appropriation important? Why is it done? Um, you know, based on what your perspective is here. So it's quite important and your personal voice shapes the essay. So what are the similarities and differences between your texts? That's, anal that's analysis. That's where we're analyzing those similarities and differences. Then we've got how has context influenced both texts? Again, analysis, you know. If I look at Shakespeare, how has this Elizabethan context influenced, you know, the way in which he portrayed, um, the way in which he has portrayed monarchy in Richard III, which is one of the texts, um, versus how has context influenced Al Pacino's docudrama? Um, how has this 20th century influenced um, the way in which he has shown Richard III in his docudrama? So that's analysis. Then we've got what is the purpose of appropriating text? That's your thesis. The question will obviously be based on this idea of textual conversations and you bring in the purpose of this appropriation in your thesis. And then what is the value of a comparative study? Why are we doing this? That is also in your thesis. Um, and you also talk about it in your audience impact. Um, 
where you know you talk about why are we learning this why is it important what are audiences learning from it with some of the ideas for instance from your parent text again let's go back to shakespeare you know where he talks about power um and the machiavellian depiction of villains that's still relevant to a great extent to 21st century um just because you know those villains may not wear robes anymore but suits or whatever it's the same thing so you know there are similarities there are things that still that stay universal and sometimes that's what the comparative story tells us but think about it um and it's whatever your perception is of you know the, of why this comparative study is important so